God Evan, what up? Evan in the building, Cassie the building said, Toso, please tracks. What up, boy? Yes, you know, go. Jimmy ITK in the cut. What mm-hmm. up? That's a scary <laughs> sight. <laughs> I'm fucking dead. E- eating kimchi out the deli. No, okay. smoking a blunt. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, no, that's like some real ass shit. This is crazy. You a whole vibe right like, now, bro. Fuck with me and my like macros. <laughs> no days off, baby. He's a dime for real. <laughs> Not for real. Living your best life. His legs crossing. Shit. I'm like, damn. He got his arms out of shit. You know, it's uh, it's nice in Chicago today. So. Yeah. We're all excited to like pop out without jackets and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Got the ribs out. I was scared. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the ribs. Y'all for real. I was I scared. Saw everybody I getting hoodie. the fishnet shirts off. I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna pull the ribs out. Oh, I feel pull you. Pull the ribs out, might as well. I, I put feel that you. shit on. Oh, Jeff Hardy <laughs> shit. Put that shit on. I had to wear this uh this dime cardigan because I had to get this one last thing off before. No, it's super hard though. <laughs> it didn't wh- work though. But with the white white beat underneath it. Yeah, true. Period. <laughs> I love a good clean wife beat. Yeah. Oh yeah. I might have to take this off and just be beat it up. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the pod. It just sucks. We gotta they definitely I know that they stopped saying that, but they definitely gotta change that name or Yeah, that is very sketchy. It's really it's called like, it. damn, you just trying to be they, regular. What did they change? What's what's they what they changed? I don't know it if they changed It's really it. called it's, it. it's actually called an A shirt. An A shirt? Yeah. Oh, see look, as see Diddy Jacks with the pro- fucking fashion knowledge. <laughs> I mean, I've tips. never seen it on like a like a like a storefront website. Yeah, for sure. But when people see you be like what they just call it tank top Ta- but no one <laughs> niggas don't want to be like oh i'm wearing a tank top they'll like try to fight you like nigga this beard. ain't no tank top this a white beard because they be trying to have balls all the, the other sudden. one is loud too the other, what did they say what's the other one uh, uh what's it called I thought it was just wife beater. I don't know. That's pretty. That's I mean, a, it's really just because in the there's media, another one. Every, I forgot. That. Every I forgot time there's a, like a oh, guy what? portrayed yeah. in a movie, beating yeah, the Dago. <laughs> oh yeah, a Dago team. Yeah, yeah. That's I don't know how I like feel it. about that word, but like, isn't that derogatory towards like Italian people? Yeah, bro. So then it's like. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything after I just said that. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, listen, even out the playing field or not? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, I love you, Ace. <laughs> Don't kill me. How's everybody week's been? Good, man. Yeah, pretty good. good. I got it was my, big Nate's birthday. It was oh, my yeah. birthday. It was Nady Jack's birthday. We had to pop out for the kid. You already know. Yeah, yeah. pop text. out of the tools. That solar return. Yeah, we got silly. How are you <laughs> feeling? <laughs> How are you feeling, bro? Good. Two days after the birthday. Big three six. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. Three That's six mafia. Yeah. Period. I'm gonna be saying that. Hello. Oh my gosh. Hell no, yeah. I feel good. I feel good. I feel the same. I guess. Yeah, for you sure. Know. Birthdays. Well, time. glad to know you another whole year, yeah, man, for, for sure. real. Because, yeah. KK's we really birthday. fuck with each other. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, no, you got it. We just really fuck with each other deep, man. So, yeah. like, yeah, really knowing people and, like, this squad specifically, like, on your birthday, it really does mean something to know you on your birthday. Because, like, damn, I fuck with you. I'm glad you were born. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, and you were going to say it's okay. It's KK's birthday. So, what? <laughs> KK's birthday at midnight. Holy shit. See, this is when it comes, that whirlwind of May... Yeah, Extravaganza! Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, yo, y'all, I'll be taking a beating too. Boy. Yeah, it starts right <laughs> off jump. It we starts at Nate's all... birthday, it goes to Kay's birthday, and it's just like a continuous uh, thing. That's why I'm just trying to make it a thing. The party on the 25th of May at the California yeah. Clipper Bailey's birthday. Yeah. We just celebrate everybody's birthday. Yeah, yeah nah, sure. for sure. Yeah, <laughs> we it's definitely it. gonna be like a mine and and mine and Perry's birthday, but like Everybody that's my actual birthday. birthday. But Perry's birthday is on the twenty third. Let's not forget. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So what y'all want to get into first? Shit, man. Let's talk. Let's just start with the Met Gala because, like, let's mm-hmm. fucking break it down. I don't know. I even talked to Giselle. If you guys don't know, my best friend is a supermodel, extra on the super. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> and I definitely told her I was like, I don't know if the internet's gonna kill me because I posted one thing because, like. I guess I like seeing all of like the outfits and everything, but then like I really started sitting and being like, "What the fuck is the Met Gala?" And like the people are like critiquing people off of being themselves and stuff. Like, bro, like you don't know how to dress anyway. Like, who are you to even comment on some shit? Like, you have no fashion sense no, at all. That's the thing. People it's just like, be putting what they like on the. You know, all this costume performative. Wait, okay, I I honestly feel like celebrities don't really have like taste or style. Like they work with fucking stylists and stuff. Like so. Many Somebody stylists. put them in that shit. Yeah. They didn't. They weren't like, oh yeah, like it was just like, oh, I mean, our most, te- most your team them, yeah. has. 
I don't I mean, feel like that way, Tyler dude. Tyler got that bar off forever ago. Like, you rappers got silence because you can't think for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. They definitely, like, they, like, curated, like, the, these extravagant I styles. Mean, you can tell who mm. can really dress. Yeah. 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 But I had to Google, actually, because I didn't know, because Perry said that before we started recording. I my like, nigga. what was the Met Gala? I think, that, I say I my think nigga. Like, the Met Gala might be a situation, though, where, like, it's encouraged to have somebody style you. Yeah, exactly. Just get that's the art. So let me let me just because I didn't know what the Met Gala was, was either, and I've never Googled it to figure out exactly what the yeah, fuck. Yeah, because I've is. always been like, yeah, I love to watch it's the red charity, carpet and shit. Yeah, right? No, but it I'm like, what, I'm like, but what the, the fuck do they the do museum. inside? Yeah. It says the Met Gala or Met Ball, formerly called the Costume Institute Gala or the Costume Institute Benefit, is an mm. annual fundraising gala. Held for the benefit of the Metropolitan Museum of Arts and Costume Institute in New York City. So, like, that makes sense because you're trying to figure out why is everyone but, wearing crazy but, but, shit. But, but, but what the fuck do they do inside? Right. Facts. They got a show? It's a show? Yeah. There's like, a, <laughs> there's like an art exhibit. I think there's a dinner. Uh, for sure. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I that's crazy. It yeah. costs like 30 bands to get in God for damn. God damn. Oh, yeah. Who are like, the regular the, people the, in that motherfucker? All the seats are purchased. Get the yeah, ticket like, top ticket master. Like a motherfucker put you, know? you in there, they put you in there just to, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, It's like an investment crazy. to have you be in that shit. To walk I around so they can get their fashion off. You know what I'm saying? I like fuck with it sometimes with the way that the internet goes crazy because that's why I wanted to just read what the fucking what it was really about because I promise you the most people who are commenting on everything that's going on don't even know that part that I just read like yeah. they're just like oh the internet is talking about the Met Gala let me hop on it just yeah, like how just everyone else does it you know I mean? yeah, yeah for sure but like knowing where it's coming from because especially like people love tearing you down when you're trying to be yourself or whatever mm -hmm. like you know they like really tried to like get in on a uh, little Nas X because you know. Oh, of his fit or but whatever. Yeah, he, he, I mean, that's what you're trying to do if you have get all that, that stupid attention. My nigga, yeah, why uh, is it stupid attention? Don't because single him out like I'm that. I'm not stinkling him out. You I'm are. Just you saying, just did. I'm just They're saying, at the Met like, Gala. That's what it's for, though. That's what he's supposed to do. Wait, you know what, what you got? I'm talking about niggas that had that. Cassie. Swag. I have a peanut gallery comment. <laughs> What's yeah, up? Go ahead. Every look for the Met Gala, whether it's good, bad, ugly, in our opinion, has to be approved by Anna Wintour. So every oh, for real? oh, that shit. goes down that carpet has been viewed and approved by Anna yeah. Wintour. So this is me so telling on myself, so for everyone who doesn't know, who is that? Oh, Anna Wintour? The editor of Vogue. Vogue. Oh, yeah. Y'all. Yeah. That's she. This is her whole shit. This yeah. is her whole event. For oh, sure. I didn't know so she had to get it approved. Look, regardless of what anyone thinks about it, was sent and approved by Anna Wintour to go down that carpet. So For imagine sure. the shit that she said no to. Yeah, yeah, yeah because this niggas just that's know it's gonna be attention that's gonna just do some outlandish shit just for the attention. Like she gotta get, be like, all right, well, but shit. wait, why for I'll the attention, dude? It's definitely for like the you know like the I mean, crowd. For the, I mean, I feel it. Not for the attention. I mean, that's I'm what I'm feeling. saying. You were singling out little Nas X I was talking about. You else. said he did that for attention. That's crazy. I mean, why does know, he? You, why is he you not know, allowed I mean, to have? He is allowed to do it. I'm just partly for attention, but also I think it's a part of the art when it comes to fashion. It is, but it's like. It's to be expected. Like, yeah. I already knew he was going to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Jared Leto was wearing a cat yeah, suit. Yeah, he was another one to type of them niggas. That's another one. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. What? Jared Leto. Then Doja Cat do the same shit? Austin, yeah, she had the cat shit on. Like, I'll fuck with it. I'm not mad at it. I'm just saying that's what it is. Yeah. Lagerfeld Lagerfeld's cat was wearing a cat suit. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
put his hood on and he had like sunglasses on and he was like oh, working yeah. his way through the crowd and like people weren't trying to let him pass. He had to apologize because he like hey. put his whole body weight on Shorty's face to climb over the <laughs> He definitely if called you, like, he the, told some girl that she was sinking. 20 no more. Hey. I feel him. Hey. I feel him. You're not 20 no he more. He apologized but he definitely if you watch He's the like, clip oh. his right hand is on the fence and his left hand is on her face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he probably was like oh here we go. <laughs> but he literally if y'all didn't see if you guys didn't see the video, he literally hopped over the fence and immediately took his hood down and looked back oh, at everyone. It's yeah. Me. Everyone literally was like, oh about. my God. That's the, this the shit I'm talking about. I had you on, I had you oh on fool. Gosh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they were like, that like, was him. Oh my God. He came through like, like Raphael off Ninja Turtles. I'm fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. wow. <laughs> Just hopping <laughs> over a railing. I'm fucking uh, Pusha T went crazy too. Did the fool. I like, don't know. His fit was pretty fired. Me. Was it, bro? Like Look, y'all. Yeah. simple. It's what pushes you. I can't even. Full Tom Brown, my favorite <sighs> designer in the fucking world. I can't even say what I really thought that so that shit looked like. I'm definitely biased it. to him. <laughs> oh Sean, my God. Uh, uh, P. Diddy had on the Sean Valerian. Outfit <laughs> <laughs> That nigga had that shit on You see Diddy No Like he I didn't He got on a Targaryen joint Yeah <laughs> I only saw what the internet brought to me Cause like assume I have other shit to do Like oh, I don't dude. know You know what I'm saying So I didn't see everyone's fits Except for like When people made like Either they were like What the fuck Or like Oh I love this so much Yeah uh, Miami I guess Yeah she had on a fit yeah, I Miami, fucked with what she had on Miami had on a fit That shit was sick as fuck It had like a huge co- Like uh, it was definitely giving like Extravagant black And I loved that That's awesome I, Yeah That's cool that she was even there Yeah she for had, sure I didn't were, even know that it was her Like I had to mm. read the caption I was like oh shit They was mad They was mad Ice Spice uh, was there <laughs> Why? I mean, she had some regular ass shit they on. Said, she looked regular. They said, who paid for her to go in there? <laughs> Kim <laughs> Kardashian. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> uh, Why are they bad. hating on her so much, man? They hate to just see a young girl just whatever. Mm-hmm. I can't even be mad at her. Like, we already talked about her, and it's, like, definitely giving, like, internet music. But I can't be mad at her. Like, it just it's fun little music, like, little bops. Like, she's yeah. young as hell. She's young and lit. Like, let her... Let her have that moment. Like, you might as well. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe it isn't, like, longevity in it, but people be so ready to critique you once you, like, put yourself out there. Yeah, like. I mean, it's just, like, they're not making music for 36-year-old hardcore kids. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or it's, like, oh, you can't compare them to, like, somebody who has, like, a legacy or something like that. Like, no one's looking at ice. Like, respect to Shorty, but, like, people look at her like, oh, this music is trash. Like, why? Because yeah. it's not, like, MC she's like hella, a- right? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's not have all this legacy. Like, she's just starting like let that girl have her little lane yeah she harmed nobody with her little side part and like she wasn't even wearing like a crazy fit she looked like regular ice comparing her to mc light is bad out of pocket you can't expect everybody to be like fucking groundbreaking yeah Yeah. i just got it i just got it here some (laughs) people are just gonna make fun shit and that's not like bad that has a place you know for sure like if everybody was like on some super (laughs) mega deep Frank Ocean shit like it'd be overwhelming, you know. Like, For sure, especially if it like wasn't five other dudes that love sad shit would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was he there? Did he? What? I I don't think I seen Frank. Uh-oh. Remember he but, had that baby a couple years ago. Oh yeah. He what? He he showed up with he, that, he green, oh, that green oh, baby. Oh. He had the green little robotronic baby shit. <laughs> oh, maybe I heard about that. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's cool. I don't know. One time, me and Giselle did go to a Met Gala after party, and that shit was fucking sick. Really? <laughs> yes. The things that I really loved about, you know, just the little after parties or whatever. Like, they need to uh, invite Giselle to the Met Gala so she can really shut that shit down. Oh, Not God, working with real. nobody yeah. but her motherfucking self. Oh, God, for real. But, yeah, getting into those little spaces and stuff. Like, because it's an after party, so, you know, it's, like, dark in there. But, like... You lightweight seeing celebrities like in a damn like red light. You're like, oh shit, oh yeah. shit, oh shit. <laughs> so that's cool, but yeah, whatever. Matt Gallon, yeah. Hell yo. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect review for it. Nah. No. You wanna, you wanna I'll be all right. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. I said, mm-hmm. I was on the deck and I was going, you know, they show to do shows and shit. Uh-huh. I'm like, they dropping a twisted metal show. 
They just doing oh, anything yeah. at these points, man. <laughs> they had to tell me what Twisted Metal was because I never even played that shit. Twisted Metal was dope. But yeah, it was. How, I'm like, how y'all finna make a show out of these cars driving around yeah. shooting each other? Twisted Metal was, a, was like, a, it's like a gauntlet with cars. So That's what Perry was saying. So yeah. It's literally just like you're crashing cars into each other trying to make their car die first. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Sounds hilarious on paper for no, sure. Like, for damn, there are no storyline to this No, shit. but no, Twisted Metal had a deep story lab, bro. That's Perry knows the whole thing. He like only played in story mode. <laughs> like each character, each character had a reason they but was joining. that's like a backstory, though. That ain't a plot. That's not a, there's no story that's happened. It's just like, Bad things happen to Tony, so he crashes his car and all Tony. The people to try and me, sweet tooth nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Perry's like, I know all of them. No, I actually know all of their backstories and everything. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, yeah, they got the concept album. But like, this, uh, it's, it's actually it's actually fucked up the shit that we used to play, man. Like that shit is so stupid. Like when I went back and looked on it, they had a nigga named No Face that didn't have no face. <laughs> But he was driving the car, shooting niggas. <laughs> it's like, how does he shoot people? Yes, that's face. the designer. Like, how far do I think we can push it? Yeah, <laughs> to the limit. <laughs> that's like making like a Mario Kart game. Like, yeah, that's what it was giving when I was seeing like how it was set up. It's like, oh, yeah. it's like the ghoulie, like a uh, Mad Max Mario Kart of it all. Yeah, What's it's kind of a, pretty much the equivalent of both of those together. I think. Hell yeah. What's the nigga name that's in it? Bro, you're the only nah. one who knows this shit. You're talking to yourself at this point. You know uh, all of I their showed you the trailer. I can't remember that shit seen one time. The one nigga is Was it on it. PS2? Because I'm going to talk was, about something. Okay. They had a PS2 one. So when I had a PS2, me and my sister used to just get like random outlandish games for like Blockbuster or like whatever was uh, renting games this at the time. An Anthony Mackie. <laughs> you remember that nigga? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That nigga for what a year. But we we got this one game and it's wild. That nigga that's the Falcon. That Captain America dude. Oh yeah. Also Clarence from Eight Mile. Oh, he was Clarence from Eight Mile. <laughs> Clarence's parents have a and real good marriage. I forget what his name was. <laughs> what my bad baby? What was you saying? I Pop just want to talk about a stupid game. Pop and Doc, that's who it was. <laughs> it's a game that no one's ever heard of before, but it literally is called Stretch Panic. Stretch Panic. <laughs> yes, hard. dude. What's that about? And it was that, and like, I can't even really remember the storyline, but you're like a little girl, but like you have like this scarf that is enchanted and that is like your weapon or whatever, Man, right? That don't sound like nothing I'll play. But wait, dude, <laughs> wait, wait. Cause it's like, it gets crazy. Like obviously people be on drugs, bro, making shit because this was like, obviously not like a mainstream game, but it was like out there, dude. There was a level like, and it was super trippy. That's why I fucked with like crazy doors. Like it was giving like Tim Burton. Like it was, it was definitely I mean, wild. Like a, up a Max Payne was. But there, yeah. there oh, was, yeah. there was, there were these. When you got up to this one level, like you, you elevated up to it. You got to this level, and the the ground was all like checkerboard or whatever. And there were women walking around with huge boobs, bro, <laughs> like huge boobs. And they're the bad guys, bro. Like, and you have to like smack them with your your <laughs> fucking scarf. This is a real game, not. And they're like the bad the bad people are literally these women with these big yeah, boobs, yo, like walking out. around. Shout out the titties in the video games. <laughs> Yeah, they was wild. They was hell. I could name. I just did it. Under, it it wasn't giving an adult game, yeah, but I was like, "Look at these they boobs." Don't have this to be is an insane. Adult game. You ever played Dead or Alive volleyball? <laughs> no, that sounds like some. That sounds like some play and then pause <laughs> and close your door type shit. <laughs> you <laughs> tripping? <laughs> <laughs> if it's what I think it is, you said volleyball. Come yeah, on, beach volleyball. <laughs> it was all the characters. For it was all the girls from Dead or Alive. <laughs> what is that? A fighting game. Oh. oh, okay. So they would just be jumping around like, yeah. Yeah. and they'd be making their shit like, <laughs> like shake off when they first got like, mom, PS2 don't come in here for five issues. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I got some business to take care of. Oh my gosh, you just close your door slowly. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> that was the door closing. Yeah, I'm working on my sound effects. The completion of the door closing. <laughs> I can't wait to listen back. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. We're idiots, but you guys love it. Oh my gosh. I just want to take this moment really quick to be like really corny. I appreciate everything that anyone is saying about the pod. All the positive shit that we've heard is like, it's very sweet. And you guys don't have to fuck with us. Everyone knows that there's 8,000 podcasts out here and yeah. you guys don't have to fuck with us, oh, but God. you guys do. So I really appreciate that because especially being like a newer member, I really appreciate you guys like, like still fucking with everything and like welcome me into the situation. So thank you for that. Big but, truth, man. Uh, yeah. All of y'all, all of y'all. Yeah, like, for real. The, the compliments have been through the roof lately. Period. It's fucking sick. And Feels we see good. the numbers, dude. The yeah. downloads. Like I love that for us, dude. Yeah. Thank you guys for fucking with us. But yeah, what's the next thing? Sorry, guys. No, that was perfect. That was beautiful. <laughs> well, oh my gosh. I have a follow up story on our share uh, debate from a couple of pods ago. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> so it's a parent that, like, buddy ass that, uh, you know, a young nigga that was fucking with Cher. Apparently, Cher's friends and family, her close people by her, are like, are like, are like worried about Cher's estate and think that this nigga is also bullshit. <laughs> Uh, it's like I hate to like make it a stereotype, but it's like there's a possibility. Like I've seen this type of movie before. <laughs> yeah. Like I hope she's not like <laughs> respectfully. I love you, Cher, but like I hope she's not just like she's not on some like meds what? and shit and just like riding the wave yeah, like no. her young dude and like riding him into the will slowly I but mean, surely every single time he gives her like good like young man dick. <laughs> like <laughs> I mean, he's like, yeah, man. baby, you're gonna uh, ride over your estate. To me, right? Yeah, you love it. <laughs> I hope he's not clapping her too rough either, by the way. Oh my gosh. She's like gentle, gentle. Yeah, be gentle. She's definitely gotten her body done. Maybe it don't work like that for real. I know those knees can. Oh, yeah. Be at top. yeah so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, apparently they recently <laughs> split in like her friends. Sexy face now you talk always. <laughs> it's usually at the end, but we were gonna spice it up and uh bring it in earlier. <laughs> yeah, so apparently they were like they was worried about about it if it like try to like figure dude out for real. As they should. Uh, I mean she has a lot of money. But yeah. I think it's hate, man. Let let it let a young jiggy nigga, young swaggy I feel nigga. you, dude, but like again, they like make stories about this shit, so it's not unheard of. Like or it's boy, not I unheard just, of. More importantly, like let him get the stain off. Yeah, you You're know. You're tripping. What I'm That's like, wild. <laughs> Cher is a gem and she should be worshipped as that gem like that she, she is. You can't take it with you when you go, you know. What yeah, yeah, she like, should give it to her people. You're bugging for what? real. <laughs> If he can get the pull stain it off, off, then he earned it. Yeah. See, look, that's the that's that extra in the corner Jimmy spicy talk conversation. <laughs> as spicy as that kimchi <laughs> was. No, <Nah>, for real. <laughs> Where are the horns? <laughs> <laughs> Shout out kimchi. Shots fired. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, it was crazy when we were having that conversation. I didn't even think about that. The fact that he might be I definitely it. thought of that, but that's what I was giving him the space. Why. Like, I'm not trying to give it, like, gold digger, but, okay, if it's a, a girl in the situation, or a woman in the situation, and the, like, roles are flipped, yeah. they I, automatically think yeah, that. It's know, automatically, like, you, like, you can't be with this older man because, like, you're trying to get to his estate. Right, that's why. Right, but like also, Yo, just, like, she's you older meet too. Cher is a twenty-five-year-old. Yeah, well, he, a, he a nigga on the scene. What's his name? Edwards. Edwards. What was he a grip boy or something? <laughs> no pun intended. Gripping, 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 <laughs> Alexander, Alexander Edwards. Too hard. You know, motherfuckers be bruising a little bit easier. All right, All right. <laughs> but yeah. What? So I've been like, I hope you know, my grandma doesn't listen to this episode. <laughs> This Please just, don't listen to this, this episode. Scientifically yeah. factual, mm. but know? yeah, like in, in in the last few months, they split or whatever. Her friends were saying that they was worried about her and shit. What do you think? I mean, do we even know enough about this individual? I mean, I'm, to, uh, about her <laughs> I mean, I'm worried about her. yo. She'll be alright until sure. we know otherwise. Maybe he does. Like maybe they're just having a good time. Like I don't know, but yeah, that's. I feel like the family is not wrong. I guess it depends on what their relationship is with Cher because, you know, that should be muddy waters. So, like, then they'll start being uh, weird to her. Like, maybe the, the relationship is already messed up between the family and they're, like, trying to get their piece of the pie and make sure that he's not going to be, like, a road bump, like, while they're trying to get the inheritance uh, or whatever. Oh, yeah. I've true. seen these fucking movies, Honestly, like, dude. The, I, they all run the same way, I, Like dude. This is the thing. This is the thing. I really don't know anything about Cher's relationship or what she's going on, but I love, in my head, to make up these little stories and shit. It's fun. 
Yeah, I mean, I've seen all the movies. It's, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It's for fun sure. for me to do these things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, for the record, we don't know shit about Cher's relationships. Yeah, for sure. But it's just funny for us to make up these stories. Yeah, it's fucking not? hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you, Cher. For any reason, your 25 year old man candy brings you to this her. podcast. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> they need to be worried if her frame can sustain 26 year old. Yes. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, um, dude, moving. Your <laughs> uh, I'm just and, uh, saying, like your grandma, your grandma hypothetical. My grandma is probably going to listen to this. All right, man. We're all right, cutting man. all of the, we're cutting all of the mics. My grandma actually <laughs> might listen to. This. So it's like uh, It's a no-go for me <laughs> I'm gonna tell it To fast forward To uh, <laughs> Anyway They yeah, right start Right here at right right uh, 26.45 Not for real Oh so my, my god. my grandma <laughs> yeah, they uh they started at least all these Chicago fest Atlantis for all the little street festivals and shit. Oh yeah. yeah, see when the weather starts changing, man, this is when we start getting excited. Yeah, yeah. yo, everything be outside and it be lit. Yeah, yo, first I want to go to I need to go to that Hyde Park fest. I'm gonna go to that shit for real. Take me with you. Hyde Park <laughs> fest is always to figure it out. Always kind of far. Try to figure it out, they, bro. They got two chains. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, definitely gonna be up in that bitch. Oh my gosh! Shout out to my man who took uh, me to see two chains the last time I saw him I was in that bitch lit singing all the words in the seat I was with Evan and Glenn <laughs> having the best time <laughs> yeah do the vision oh my gosh do the vision put they line up out too this they got a they they got Dan Deacon playing in that bitch. True, that's bringing me back to like Pitchfork. Wait, like no, I used no, to go to Pitchfork just to see Dan Deacon. Shout out to Dan Deacon. You either know or you don't, no. and I don't give a fuck if y'all think he's corny. I don't. So like, you know, Do Division low key my favorite all of that. Do Division is always one that I forget about. But I you know why? Because the, the Empty Bottle do their music. Oh okay. Because oh, yeah. like, there's always somebody that I want to yeah. see playing up. I there see for what who are you seeing the body. The body in it, the body up there one time. Oh, true. Fucking sick. Like, well, like, like every. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to boy Justice. He Shout played Dude Division. Yes, sir. Last year. Well, who's playing, dude? You said there were um, lineups listed. I didn't even see for real. Dan Deacon. This is at what? At Hyde Park? This Dude Division. Jesse Dude Royale Division. is playing. That'll be sick. Isn't that in August, though? Dude Division is in, I want to say it's in July now, something mm. like that. What's before that though? Like lyrical lemonade. Uh, just the I mean the, the SoundCloud rap gay. Oh, there's some people I want to see out there though. I want to see Jaleel. Jaleel, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely want to see Jaleel. I'm pretty sure Uzi on that bitch too. Oh my gosh, I would love that. Shout out, little Uzi Vert. Fucking awesome. I what literally love him so much. Everyone makes so much fun of him, but he's a motherfucking rock star. Okay, like let that man live. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to pop outside and shit. And I, and I saw that the uh, the humble Arborio Society. I mean, we used to go to little DJ things in the park. The oh, yeah. for the start up. Yeah, it's fucking lit. Yeah, they put I out their flyer for their first one. Like yeah, and then uh, what's the other one that the boy do? Uh, vibes on Logan with Shazam okay. Bangles. He do his shit up there. Oh shit! Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that shit always fun. Always pop out for there for real. I'm telling you, get y'all, the little grill going. Shy boy, I can't wait. I could, I could like really it. feel it in the air for real. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm fucking dead. I can dude. already feel it. Yeah. Shout out Twenty One Savage. <laughs> Isn't that I can feel it in the air? Hell yeah. So, <laughs> oh, let me get the song up. Hot shit of the week, man. I got to play my, uh, shout out my boy, Demi Yoko, man. That's my <gasps> guy. Yes, Debbie's coming to Chicago, too. And yeah. also, fucking Euro tour. Yeah, I say that for yeah. real. But definitely coming around to Chicago, so I can't fucking wait. You already know we finna fuck with you. Yeah, a podcast alumni. He's been on here with his oh band, Dev Tour, before. Oh, yeah. Next time he in town, we're going to bring him a very uh, eccentric Fellow man, fucking love <laughs> Demi so much. Shout out to you. Yeah, shout out my brother. This is, this is uh, his newest single, man. It's called Psychedelic Lipstick. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, y'all. So that was Psychedelic Lipstick by Demi Yoko, aka Ron Gore. Our boy Ron Gore. Shout love out. Love you so that much nigga. for uh, hell proud yeah. of that nigga, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, European tours and shit. That's fucking sick. Not for real. Cause how do you even get that? Like, <laughs> if you're popping overseas though, like you'll really do something. Even oh, if yeah. it doesn't pick up over in the United States, like, damn, if you can get that overseas shit popping, like, you'll have like something going for you for real. Yeah, I've definitely heard that like overseas, uh, the crowds appreciate music more. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. 
I'm about to go into uh, Evil Rare Flame Saint Egg mode, man. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know what this means, but yeah, he's. I mean, Evil Rare Flame, man. Because I'm telling you, this Instagram shit is out of control, bro. What do you mean? About the sex robots? No, no, man. Because <laughs> I'm upset about no, that. No, 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 no. Why every time I open my phone, I go through my thing, my stories, I see niggas begging me for money, man. Oh, my God. I don't like that. I th- I'm going to tread lightly. I'm talking this, about, no, nah, I'm going to say what I feel, man. I seen nigga. I go through my story. I be seeing niggas. Oh, like trying to make ends meet, hit my cash up. Uh, some shit ain't go through. I'm trying to make my rent hit my. Like, I'm on, I'm on Instagram for entertainment. Yeah. I'm not on here. Yeah, man. You're talking about I, people you know? Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. how I was like, I'm going to tread Seriously? lightly on all of and this. And the so I see that shit all the time, yo. It ends up uh, going and through look, my shit, too, man. And I just feel like. <sighs> and look, man, like. <laughs> I've definitely. Let me just start with this, bro, before I forget. Because right, then right. everything that I say, like, they're going to be like, oh, if anyone knows. At one point in time, you know I've been fucked up. Shout out to Perry for always like helping me out when I've moved back and back and forth, back and forth from Chicago, mm. and really not being able to get on my feet to like pay my rent. I did it one time, and I got twenty dollars from one person, and immediately closed down the whole thing. But I like got to that point where I asked people, yeah. and really felt all kinds of fucked up about it. Got twenty dollars, and like just shut down the whole campaign. Cause like I just I like couldn't Because and no. But yeah Now say what you're about to say I just need and to like, say that In case anybody saw that shit I understand <laughs> I understand that they, People go through hard times You trying to make it work and shit and You trying to like Tap into all your resources and shit But like I remember like I could see Like I'm I, 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 It make me happy to help people Like I would love to help motherfuckers When I could help niggas But like Come wash my car <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you're it's, not you wrong. Know what I'm you're not wrong. Man. I got a job for you. You know what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? True. I can help you out like that, but I'm not just cash apping niggas just to cash app niggas. I work hard for my shit too. It ain't easy. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's why but like, you know I people you a- be in crazy spaces to even put themselves out there to ask for money. However, sometimes I feel like it's more like, uh, whatever fruitful for some people who have like a stronger following. Like people would just pay that, and like I feel like people start getting like. Like, they get, like, uh, intoxicated with that. Like, oh, shit, people would actually, like, I could probably get $400 off this shit type shit. And, like, I don't know, to each their own, but, like, my pride gets in the way because there's 8,000 ways to make money. And like, it might not be the quickest. Look, 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 yo, I was, I was in the car the other day. I was stopped at a light, yo. I seen the nigga, I seen the nigga with a DoorDash backpack on, uh-huh. on a Divi bike. Yeah, period. Trying to get it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. For <laughs> sure. Shit, Perry's been telling you this in my entire life. When I was really down and out, like, trying to make one and two connect, like, how to hustle some money. And, like, even if you have to do it, like, the legal way, like, there's ways to make everything make sense. People don't want to work that hard to try to get out of it. So they start trying to figure out shortcuts. And then these be saying motherfuckers I be seeing at the bar. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That, you know what I'm saying? Stay you have to look at, at You have to look at yourself. Because you also <laughs> called me out on that shit too, bro. Like people be fucked up for real and like just be out in the bar. Like, or you don't need to get the weed. Like if you don't have the money, like you have to make sacrifices for yourself. You can't just be like, oh, I'm down and out. And then I like see you out. In yeah. the world, like, cause like I know shit get hard, yo. But that's why yeah. sometimes you don't see me outside. Exactly. Yeah, for nah, sure. People be at the bar asking for handouts at the bar. Nah, for real. I'm me, okay. And we <laughs> ain't gonna say no motherfucking names. But what but. if a nigga came through? What if a nigga came through? <laughs> but what if a motherfucker came through? Hey, day, bro. I clean out the bathroom. I clean y'all back area. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Yeah, for sure. But everyone's trying to, to get paid for free, <laughs> yeah. bro. Everyone's trying to get money for doing absolutely nothing. If it's a sad enough story, like, <sighs> like, like you would probably fuck with him. It was like, hey, let me get, let me get a few beers, man. I'll, I'll straighten out the back area. Yeah, exactly. Shit. Yeah, because I understand. You, you know, you got to get out of the house and like unwind and shit like that. It's hard to be at home alone and down and out. You know what I mean? For sure. Just, like, sitting there thinking about it, but like. And you gotta you gotta try to get this money. Like I'll be thinking about like ain't don't nobody the only way legal way to get money is for niggas to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? 
No. So do something like in the meantime, Bay I've been like, hey, make some prints. You didn't came up yeah, off them prints. For that's real. what I'm saying. Perry's been told me how to like literally use your resources and hustle this shit. Like back in the day, like, yeah, I'd learn like uh print sales and shit like that and then get my fucking rent. Like just off of that, like you have like a craft and it sucks because a lot of times it'll be somebody with like some kind of craft or you have some ability to create something that you could just sell. Yeah, it's not like the quickest money because you have to actually push it so that people see it. You have to do some kind of work and people don't want to do that. But it's like there's money right there. The money is already printed. You just got to go fucking get it. Oh, God, for real. Oh, my yeah, God. It's much more rewarding that way when you do For it. real. Like, Even when you're fucked up. If you're talking about I'm fucked up and I'm running a print sale, like people can like gravitate towards that, you know, like or I'm selling this because I'm fucked up. And like yeah. fuck with me Tell them the backstory That way Not yeah. just like Starting the GoFundMe And be like yeah. I'm fucked up And here's the whole bio About exactly. why like, yeah. If I if I flip to my stories I seen a nigga be like Oh like shit I'm trying to make ends meet I'm trying to figure it out Like y'all got something For me to do Like hit me up I hit a nigga Hey go pass these flyers Out for me I'll give you $100 Nah yeah. for real Literally that like, Ask your friends Like if you're asking The internet But you see It's easier like and sometimes respectfully, like in the women aspect, sometimes it is easier to ask on the internet because, you know, there's 800 thirsty niggas that will probably give you something. And that's like real tea, like mm -hmm. for real. Or anyone on the internet. Yeah. Uh, she, her, them, they, like there is an avenue. And I'm not even talking about like sex work, but like if people find you attractive, social media is like the first platform that you can use. If people fuck with you and they think that you're hot, yeah, you you're can right. get somebody to give you some coin. And I feel like that, like, but again, intoxicates loud. people yeah, to loud. think that it's smooth to just, like, ask on the internet. Because, like, oh, yeah, I remember when you were calling me sexy 800 times. Don't you <laughs> fuck with me? Like, I need, like, money or whatever. But I'm talking about close friends. Oh, your close friends. Yeah, yeah, I can't talk before, about any of that a on the fucking just, pod. Before a motherfucker <laughs> just pop up and on the thing and be, like, with a sad photo, like, yo. Like, <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah, yeah, for this sure. This happened to me, the gas bill, the light bill. I mean, I had an old roommate, and this is going to be real short because fuck that and no air time for this motherfucker because I was down and out at the time, just moved back from Texas. Perry helped me find the crib we're in right now to move in with some homies, and now it's just me and Evan up in this bitch, but... I had a roommate who wasn't paying rent at all, already had a job when I moved in, already was living in this spot. I signed on to their lease. I'm struggling trying to make ends meet. This motherfucker isn't paying rent at all, but like had like GoFundMe's because like A, B, C, and D, Lyme's disease yeah. and all kinds of shit like feel sorry for me, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, you're at the crib like when I get off work, when I'm leaving for work, like you're up yeah. all night. Like what is it that you are doing for yourself to get some money besides asking people to feel sorry for you so you can exactly. get some coin? Like we're having to make some, make some, yeah, make anything. Like Jeez, literally, yeah. there, there's hella holidays and shit. Like make literally anything. I be telling niggas, I be telling niggas that like, like that I know that like make music and shit that do all that do all sorts of art shit. Just like. Hey, make just make something like you make something. Niggas gonna support you just cause it's you type shit, right? And that's when I feel like they go to the internet because like, people fuck with them. But it's like, damn, put that thing. But like, even if it's your your auntie or some shit or your cousin, like somebody gonna fuck with you because they see you out here doing it. I, I heard family something. isn't always there, and I'm gonna say I that. know family not always there, but it'd be like motherfuckers like yo like I said your friends people gonna support you just cause it's you type shit Regardless it just be of slow money out. and that's why like anyone's uh, objection to any of this is literally because it's like a slower like, like you do have to still earn that and that's when they're like Usually people, when they put up these, uh, these, uh, you know, uh, crowdfunding things, it's because they're in like, um, like a desperate situation, but like, I still just don't feel like it's an excuse. Like you should, I don't know. Like you have to kick your own ass into gear to like I, get out of it. I heard a motherfucker say this before. They was like, if, if a motherfucker, you get a flat tire and you just sit in, you don't know how to change a flat tire and you just sit in your car and wait for somebody to, to come through with stuff. Like do it Ain't nobody gonna just say shit They feel like the nigga like, Pulled up But if you outside And you trying to figure it out yeah. Somebody's gonna stop Somebody right gonna wow, stop it Wow that's out. fucking real Somebody oh gonna be like Hey gosh. you know what you doing bro Like <laughs> You gotta that's try real. to do the shit Wow that's very real Good point Perry Yeah I if feel like could, that shit is okay on, With with like you know Major like You know hospital bills Type shit yeah. Or like you know Your, with ho that your type house shit. caught on fire Exactly you know? that, that type shit of shit is smooth 
But I'm talking about niggas that thought, I can't get my rent, my cell phone getting cut off. Yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. It's just I, I'm trying to be entertained. I know when I'm on life my phone. happens, but like, you know, damn, like people have been through some like real ass shit. And like, I appreciate all of the help that I've gotten from my friends, but it's like, damn, like it's just a crazy thought to think about sitting down and thinking you could get money like this. Like, and not even close friends. I see it on the internet all the time. Like, some of these, like, you know, internet girls will just, like, do that. Like, you're going through so much. I, like, see, like, and I don't want to, like, I'm not trying to, like, like beat anybody down about this. But, like, you'll see people, like, every, like, year or something. Like, there's something going on that you're going through. And I don't even know you like that. But, like, you're always going through something. Broadcasting. Like, every other time, though, it's just, like, I know social media is showing whatever. But it's, like. It seems to be okay because you're actively on social media and it's like if you're really like downtrodden, I promise you, it's like the way you actively what? need to be looking for a fucking job. But, like, yeah, like you have to, you literally have to. And there's remote jobs at the crib. You can sit at your, uh, sit on the fucking couch, sit on your ass all day and get paid. Like, like there's 800 of those calls. I'm, like, I'm not even saying, I'm not even saying, I'm not even saying don't like use your resources and people that you do, but come on there. Like I said, hey, I, I watched this. Somebody, I got it. Anybody got a job I could do? Like, yeah, I, you know what sure. I'm saying? Yeah. Motherfucker hit you up. Yeah, come wash, the, come clean my car. And I'll give you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I had, had these flies out. I'll just help me move this couch. Facts. Yeah, you know people don't want to work for it. Dollars. People don't want to work for it, man. Like, if it's somebody I know for sure, I'm going to be like, yeah, like, I'm going to fast something for yeah, you. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, shit, now, Evil Red Flame, man. Uh, both it is over. Yeah, sorry about that, y'all. I know people are definitely gonna feel a way about this. I don't like, give a fuck for real. It's, it's definitely gotta be a thing because I know a lot of people have just seen it and like I've seen it for mad years. I'm too. trying to help niggas get better. Bro. Yeah, That's you that. have I mean, to you need kick, kick yourself in the ass and go like get that fucking money, bro. Mm -hmm. Like Nate, what you got, bro? Oh man, uh, on the fashion tip. Um, so some of the new Yeezy shit has been leaked. <laughs> and <laughs> he's still releasing. Yeah, yeah, he, they brought him back. Yeah, he's doing uh, some Yeezy like yoga pants. The nigga had a ball. They he said had they he said, had them. <laughs> Please pull they up. They said, hold on, let me pull it up. They said my nigga look like uh, Doctor Robotnik. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how you get that from leggings, but please. Oh, my Dude, God. Now like I can the, see it. They said he looked like the egg, man. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the picture. Yeah. I saw the, I saw him wearing the pants. And you like fuck some, with it, Jimmy? some, like, shapeless shoes. <laughs> nah. I was going to say, Jimmy, I, shit, I was, uh, don't say too much, Evan. I was going to ask you, you, you fuck with that shit? <laughs> Y'all love Kanye West. Pants mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 he was wearing, like, a wide... T-shirt, so it looked. It looked. Wow. It definitely looked. Wow. Wow. That's, That's your boy. That's your boy. Yo. Yeah, it looks crazy. Nah, yeah, They called him Nah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are the shoes? This nigga wearing socks outside. Like, what are these? What are those shoes? That those are socks. A, are those got, not socks? My nigga got a leotard on. He, are those not socks? Those look like socks. And I'm not talking about like the oh. little Balenciaga shoes. That that looks like socks is. on pavement. <laughs> he looked like Peter Pan. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny when you see him with the beard. It's like. It's like out of shape LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man. I, fuck, I mean, yeah, take your wrist, man. He do it. He, he a trend setter for I used to put it's still fuck you, I Kanye put the West. short on, on top of it. I don't let my And that's booties, on wax. That's smooth. I don't bro. let my booty be out, man. He got the leggings on with no short on. He got the booty. <laughs> <laughs> to say booty is... Uh, <laughs> I've never heard any of y'all You could have just way. said, I, I'm not going to have my... Cheeks, I mean, yeah, but cheeks is also it's giving um, booty. <laughs> I don't want my shape to be out there like that. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just Yo, not confident enough in my do body. Do I say this like, on the wax? Even if I'm just swole. looking, are you wearing the tight dress right now? I mean, I got on tight jeans right now, but I'm just saying I don't. Perry want my... was looking at himself in a mirror like Jonah Hill off a of super van. Like you think these are too tight? <laughs> I was trying to see what I was swag. I ain't mad at a skinny jean, but uh, you and you, both of y'all was talking about step away from the fucking skinny whatever. I, like, want my legs to look, like, you know, slim or whatever. So, like, a big-legged thing is, uh -uh. like, I guess I... 
I don't know. I just forgot I had these. Nate gave me these pants. But I thought that ago. Kanye West's and shit I was, like, was, I was all loose. I was just saying, I was going through these jeans. I was like, oh, this ragging ball. I forgot I had these ragging balls. <laughs> oh, yeah. They look good, too. Yeah, they yeah. got a bit. It's yeah. summertime. I'm going to be back on my shit, man. Yeah, we all trying to get it. You know what I'm saying? Winter time in the Midwest will really, like... Like make you forget your whole fashion yeah, sense because yeah. you're like, damn, niggas are trying not to be cold. <laughs> exactly. Fuck whatever thing else I'm trying to get off. It's like, damn, it's frigid outside. It's <laughs> like I actually don't care if this goes with this or whatever. Mm. We just trying to stay warm. But summertime, you be having your arms out and shit. And feel like you could really get a fit off. Yeah, I'm trying confidently. To get I just bought some yeah. Air Forces. I just bought some ones today. Period. Yes, yeah, like white with the gun bottoms. You know. Yeah, I yeah so my nice. nigga. Cool. Start, start basic and then work my way up for real. And I got some checker vans too. Hell yeah, twinsies. Me and Perry finna be out here. Eee! Love checker vans. Yo, so vans just put out some uh, slip ons that are checkered, but they're like pre distressed. Oh, word. Yeah. Oh, no. So are you talking about the ones that like, okay, I saw ones that were like skate high and they said that they were like an optional destroy shoe. Like it's a shoe that has something where you can like rip a part off of it. Well, yeah. And make it. You're supposed to skate. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. But like, yeah, like. Uh, I'll that, that's one. Yeah. Well, I think the ones Bailey is talking about is like, you're supposed to skate them, and then there's like another thing under, like. The, yeah, so you can rip your shit yeah. and make it look. Like those uh, Chicago uh, Lakers. Yeah, I had yeah. those. I oh, had and those. how it would change because you're wearing them or whatever. The, uh, the Jordan one, the uh, the LA. breads that that skated away to the LA's. Yeah, I sold them yeah. bitches instantly. Had to. Uh, had to. I had to. Yeah. But yeah, I what, just got, a, what a mistake. Uh, I know. I should. I need it. It was uh, sometimes like when you come across a, like a rare item, like it was. It wasn't fina- financially responsible for me to keep them, knowing that I could get that bread for them. Yeah. See, and that's why I don't even I'll mess with this shit, too. bro. I could yeah. never cop some shoes that I wasn't intentionally trying to wear myself, and then to try to give them mm-hmm. to sell them. It's mm-hmm. like, thank God, damn. Any interesting cops from y'all recently? Uh, what I just get? I mean. My girl got me for my birthday the uh, the Stussy pennies. Oh, oh yeah, she did tell me that. Hell yeah, the Nikes. Yep, hell yeah, they are fucking awesome. Uh, it's the tan with the the black sole. Damn, yeah. super. Shout sad. out out the pennies. Yeah, hell yeah. I ain't cop nothing yet. I'm gonna cop like some whatever. You guys know I love like basic ass. Uh, silhouettes of shoes. Um, there's probably like I hate because I like have so many and I'm wearing right now. Like, I'm about to get another pair of Air Force ones, but there's ones that have like, and I hope I'm not making this up, but I promise you, when I looked at them, like they had like the clear bottom, not giving gum, but it was like lilac. So oh, yeah, like, like a a translucent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so it's I was a, like, damn, I'm finna fuck around and yeah, get them. Well, the I, it's like an ice sole. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I was like, damn, these are actually sick. It looks yeah. like all of the other shoes that I have, but yeah. I like that for the summertime. Because, yeah, I'm going to be wearing white shoes with white socks all summer. I don't know. I mm-hmm. thought about wearing like a... I definitely wanted to get uh, black Air Force Ones and wear them with black socks so I could get the whole black fit off. I might still do that, but I have to change out that little Air Force One thing. Like the silver the, thing? Yeah, because I just what? don't. That's I don't, fire. It you is, like but they have other ones, though. So, like, oh, I would yeah. be trying to customize my shit. Like, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to do the gold. That's it. Yeah. That's you know what shit. I'm saying? And wear, like, the all black and just have that little gold. But I feel like that, like, dusty silver on the Air Force One and the, the black Air Force Ones, when it starts getting the crease, that's when it starts looking dingy and, like, annoying. Because, like, that silver is too, like, frosty. It's not, like shiny silver it's like frosty so then it starts looking you can walk around and get like a custom one like that's like a gold b or some shit like that that would be tight for sure yeah i would still just get like the what does it say air force one yeah Mm -hmm. yeah for sure evan got me some and i switched them out on one pair and they're sick i definitely fuck with that shit i don't know i love nike so much it's crazy (laughs) i wish i could like deep dive into like my fashion but I have no idea what I'm doing. Mm. I try so hard not to look basic, but it's just like, 
damn, I'm really just so happy that I'm able to cop the clothes that I want and have always wanted all style or like all like colors and stuff all any time that I want it like yeah. all the time. Like I anytime. fuck with that instead of like trying to find a new thing because like I don't know. I'm no, I'll still feel you on for that. real. I feel you. You said you had anything else on, on clothes? Uh, shit. Um, ooh, the new fear of God. They're doing like an athletic line. Oh, okay. for real? Yeah, which is very... Yes, essentials or not? No, it's Fear of God, like the, the main line. Okay. Fucking cool. sick. It's just like, I mean, it's, it's an athletic line, but there's still like jackets and like, you know, shit like that. It's just with different materials, but it's kind of like the, uh, the, <laughs> the answer to like how shitty easy has been. Oh, okay, for real? period. Yeah. Exactly. Someone's going to uh, wiggle been, into that spot. What's his name? Jerry Lorenzo. Jerry Lorenzo yeah. yeah, he been on that shit for a minute now, I feel. Yeah. Like. Can I ask you guys how you guys really feel? Okay, so now that you guys are breaking it down, because I don't know shit about shit. I got one essentials fucking crew neck, but... Um, so there's fear of God, and then not fear of God essentials. I yeah. thought that they were the same thing. It's, yeah. like, it's like Mark by Mark and Mark yeah. Jekylls. Yeah. How do you guys feel about essentials, I guess? Because, like, it. is it getting... <laughs> But is it getting like beat down because all the NBA players? Like, <laughs> no, not even that. Not even that. Why an NBA player? Really? Like I'm talking about. I'm wrong. talking he's about like bad. everybody else type shit. Like while I'm talking about being basic, like yeah, I feel like a basic girl fit is like you have the essential nah, city. It's like, good quality. It's good yeah, quality. I, mean, for real. I feel you, but they've also in the fast fashion lane because I saw this on YouTube. One girl got like a haul from this place called Jerly She, and they have essential shit on there. Oh, yeah, like there's mad replicas. Dude. There's mad fake shit. But, that's but then what, there's like hella replicas and it just says essentials. Yeah. So like then you start seeing it hella and like maybe you don't know if it's a replica or not. So like I wanted to ask how you guys feel about approaching, I guess, fear of God when you can't tell now because obviously the replicas have come up and now everyone's wearing essentials now. Is fear of God like giving something else? Because I, well, you said athletic line. I saw that they had running shorts, but well, like honestly, I don't even be worried about what other niggas doing. I just know I'm not gonna put no replica shit. No, on. I mean, yeah, you know what I'm uh, saying. Like, if I like it, is I it like tarnishing it for the real. brand? No, nah, I like it because I'm not I gonna lie. With, KK with, was the first person I ever saw with that fucking shit on. No, nah, because I, I like, ain't never seen that shit ever. In I like my Jerry life. Lorenzo. <laughs> I would just wear because I like Jerry Lorenzo. Who is Jerry Lorenzo? The fear of God. Look, now I'm just uh, I'm just like opening myself up to let everyone know that I don't know shit about shit. He the fear, he is a fear of God. Nigga. Yeah, who is that though? Uh, fashion designer. Yeah, he, I like um, his work. Yeah, he started it. He's a. Oh, he's giving a skateboard name. So I was like trying to dig. Oh, like, no, it's oh, no, it's skateboard and it's then some, like it's just like uh, uh, overpriced streetwear. Not really. I mean, it's like long line shit. Yeah, um, it's just like different creative cuts. Like you know, it's for great. Sure. It's fucking sick. No, I fuck with it for real. I fuck uh, with it too. I, did it I was just to. trying to see. I fuck with it a lot more now, but um, I don't own anything. But yeah. yeah, I mean, I think his shit is sick. I think he's a a cool dude. Seems like a cool dude, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but the essential shit is like, it is what it is. Like, yeah, like, it, it's like super fucking popular. And yeah, it, it seems like it's washed, but so is Supreme. You know what I mean? Facts. Like, I still like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like, come like our right. song, yeah. Chuck's like, yeah. I, still, I still get oh the bitches my God. out. <laughs> it's like, there's going to be replicas no matter what. You know what Facts. I'm saying? For sure. But, I mean, I feel like it's just like about, <coughs> about yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, for sure. Hell yeah, I feel that. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm not going to wear fake shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. Uh, we got anything before I get into the sports minute? <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> Cricket. The NBA Where's been the little wild. squeaky ass wheel button that you got? Is it this one? <laughs> oh, oh, no, it needed to be that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, Perry. Sports Minute, everybody. It's your boy, St. Egg, here reporting your weekly sports. The NBA playoffs is crazy. The storylines are going crazy right now. It Stephen really A. Egg. You know what I'm saying? The fucking, uh, they got the Lakers and the Warriors going against each other. A tale for the storybooks. Uh, Steph Curry, LeBron, part five, I believe it is, for real. Oh my you know gosh. what I'm saying? Uh, this, is the, this is the first time LeBron and ran into them during the playoffs. And since... Uh, since they uh, went, against, I think it was 2018 was the last time they went against each other in the finals when LeBron was still on Cleveland and yeah. uh, came out first game. 
LeBron did his thing. Anthony Davis really did his thing. Shout out Anthony Davis. You know I fuck with everybody from the go. You know what I'm saying? You from the go, I'm fucking with you. I didn't know he's from here. That's crazy. Yeah, he from here for real. And uh, yeah, Mr. Glass. He was out there balling on uh, the first game. 30 points, 18 rebounds. Yeah. And then that nigga came in and stunk it up. Last night. They got blowed out. That nigga Clay Thompson really nice as hell for real. Who was last night? Clay Thompson and them. For sure. That boy, that boy is nasty for real. Like, uh, if you really think Wasn't about he it, he's sitting down for mad long. That's what I was gonna say. If you think about it, it's really crazy because like the Warriors were in the finals in 2019. Mm-hmm. Clay gets hurt. You know, Kawhi wins it. Clay's hurt for two more years, and then he comes back last year and they win the championship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely like, came out swinging for real. Yeah, that I'm nigga glad that they don't left lose left. that shit. Right. But I don't, uh, I don't even know. Like, I would love to see LeBron win. I would love to see LeBron get that for real, Jimmy. I know Jimmy want LeBron to get that. Because yeah. like, I it, it really, it really come down to now who better for real. Like LeBron got four, Steph Curry got four. Steph Curry changed the dynamic dynamic of basketball for real. LeBron got four, but with three teams. LeBron, I mean, uh, Steph got four with one team. So what you think, Jimmy? You think Steph really the GOAT? I don't know, man. I don't watch enough basketball to really know. He's going to do it. Steph's going to do it. Yeah, I think think so. And I also, like, love the fact that he, like, has done it all with one team. Yeah. Yeah, for real. Oh, my gosh. That's fast. All them niggas, him, Draymond, and Clay, all one team, for real. Yeah, Yeah, they really did that shit. Yeah, like, nobody does that anymore. Yeah, Mm -hmm. and stay there and stick with it. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah! After what did we just watch though? Because we definitely gotta talk about. Uh, but do uh, jo- Joel and B stepping on dude head? Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, we Y'all watching the playoffs right shit. now, and uh, Joel and B just stepped on a nigga head. His mouth was bleeding, teeth oh probably went everywhere. They showed it in slow mo. It looked like that nigga broke his nose because like he was down and literally got like stepped on his head and his head just went straight into the fucking ground. I was yeah. like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, damn, did you lose some teeth? What were you saying Barry was looking like? <laughs> the Celtics won that one. And then, uh, and then it was funny this week, and they, uh, the, the Memphis Grizzlies came out and said, uh, they getting Dylan Brooks up out of here, man. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! <laughs> they kind of bogus as hell. I kind of don't like the fact that they did that for real. Don't come Agreed. out. Don't come out and say that that y'all finna get rid of the nigga. Just get rid of the nigga. Right? Yeah, yeah. You trying to embarrass the nigga? He yeah, already embarrassed exactly. himself. I was just about to say that. Yeah. So it's a lot of showboating, but then it goes down to that: uh, is it scripted? Cause yeah. it's, it's a lot of showboating. <laughs> but yeah, he was doing a lot, but they didn't have to like come out and like make a statement yeah. about me leaving and or whatever. make like an example out of somebody. Yeah, you know, I had yeah. too much Lebron. Yeah, don't. But like, don't do that to Lebron. Lebron, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't ever do that to him. But like, wow, that shit. That because mm-hmm. the thing is, Memphis Grizzlies really just trying to clean that clean house for real. Because they feel like I can only imagine what the old white dudes that own the team is thinking after like Jaw was wilding. This yeah. nigga doing shit. They probably like, we got to get motherfuckers in order for real. Like, they doing a lot for real. <laughs> uh, I hate that. I hate that the way you just said all of that. No, but it's real though. Like, I feel you. I just hate how whatever it's set up. Like, yeah, it's a, a group of old white men that own At the this, top, like, they're uh, sitting there like, yo, why are they. It's predominantly black uh, sports team. It's like, oh, yeah, I hope you niggas run fast yeah. and shoot that ball accurately. Yeah, yeah they're, but they're not acting right. But they, yeah, yo. But, oh niggas, my but the thing is, that even if it was a bunch of niggas sitting up there, they still doing shit that, like, you'd be like, bro, come on, man. No, I feel you but yeah. that's why uh, you bring it back to a, a nigga moment because it's like yeah. why would you do that bro like even <laughs> jaw like why like you know what it is and who are gonna be your like, judges don't be pulling guns off of out what of you do every yeah. single day your be judges are kid. literally old white men who literally have your hide they own your hide and they this, own your name and, this, and, and you would know. act like a nigga in and front of them on paper so they lebron can, the nigga that they love for real 
<laughs> oh, I was talking about nigga. job. Bro. No, but I'm just saying the dope. And then you go sit. Then you say some loud shit about LeBron. Well, y'all. Yeah, they just used him because I feel like people actually really fuck with John Morant. So it was like, mm. which one? Mm. They definitely like size yeah, no, it because out. Because they bro. were like, we got to get rid of one. Of yes, these exactly. A thousand they percent. They do it to it like a thousand nigga. percent because they would have got rid of Ja off of the gun shit alone because that's already too spicy. But Ja the future. It's like though. I hope that you're not like a uh, gang banging and shit like that because that looks bad on the team. But Ja the future. Exactly. Though. Yeah, for sure. They see some potential in that. And I feel like it's way easier to do that. And then, you know, like people will fuck with them even more if they get rid of the guy who tried to stand up against the <laughs> Like, all right, if you're an idiot, we'll just get rid of you. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, we watching this shit right now, the Nuggets of the Suns, man. This day, game three. If KD go down 3-0, he might be like, I told y'all, that nigga Jamal Murray, nice. <laughs> Jamal. Oh yeah, wasn't Jamal Murray on the bench for Mad Long? Isn't he yeah, another he kind of Clay down. Thompson yeah, type? Yeah, he was nigga? sitting down for a long time, and now that nigga. Because didn't he say bro, that yeah. in the last game? He was like, "Oh yeah, like to see game them one. win the shit." But when he was sitting down, he was like, "To see them win the shit and like not be playing, and then now I'm playing and like we're winning games and shit." Like yeah, that has yo. to feel crazy. Yeah, yo, shout out. That's that's my team. I'm rolling with. After watching the first round and shit, I had to make my picks. I fuck with Denver heavy, but with Aaron Gordon. Yoke is my nigga, uh, Michael Porter Jr., Caldwell Pope. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with them niggas. Like, if they sweep the Suns, that's going to be crazy because Chris Paul out for a few games, yo. Why? What happened? He hurt himself game two. God damn. I just seen that nigga playing. And they down 2-0. <laughs> they down 2-0 right now. Anything can happen. Playoffs, baby. Yeah, yo. <laughs> but with that, uh, shit, y'all got anything else? Nah, man. Great episode. Absolutely. Love chopping up with my good friends. 